38 degrees. And you know why it's 38 degrees in Jacksonville, Florida on the 19th of December? I'll show you in a minute. Here's the reason why it's 38 degrees. Small craft advisory today, northeast. Northeast winds, 20 to 25 knots. Right over there. I'm looking at a flag, three of them. Four of them, three of them actually, that are standing at 100% attention. And the reason I'm doing this video in my truck prior to us departing is just to do nothing more than document it. Why I have this type of luck? Do you know a week ago the weather was perfectly fine? Goose egg! Goose egg wanted to go. Gosh. You know, I'm going on, I'm working on 25 years of doing this, and I still can't figure it out. When it's 70 and there's no wind and it's nice, nobody, nobody cares to do anything. And I'm not blaming anybody, but I got Traveler Bob again, and he's bringing his buddy Keith, and then just me and Traveler Bob tomorrow morning. I mean, if it was cold and no wind, that's a whole different story. I got eight dozen shrimp. 646, it's starting to get light over the horizon right now. So I wanted to do this before we left. Would I take this over absolutely wetting and it's running down the crack of your ass at 8 a.m.? I don't know, because I hate that. Must be the Viking blood in me. This is day two, December 20th, and uh, yesterday was pretty brutal, but doable, doable. We had probably 30 yellowmouth trout, I don't know, three, four specks, only had one speckled trout that was worth even keeping. It is now 5.30 in the morning on Friday the 20th, and I'm supposed to go with Traveler Bob. I guess I'll meet him at the boat ramp, but I can tell from my yard, which is one mile from the St. John's River or less, it's brutal. The wind is brutal. I'll pack it up and I'll go down there. I can hear it. It's whistling through my backyard because my backyard faces that way. Right there is the St. John's River. Um, I'm just here stropping my fillet knives, but the knives got a good workout. Whole bunch of yellow mouth. Uh, weak fish yesterday. So hang on to your hat. It's going to be a wild ride. Right at the boat ramp at 5.42 a.m. It's gusting the 22 knots. That's right at the boat ramp weather station. See, there's all the uh, weather stations. That's a picture of the weather station at the Bar Pilots Association which is right next to the Mayport boat ramp. This is what you look at, folks. That station at the Bar Pilot Association is called Station MYPF1. So if you want the link, this weather station right at the, damn near at the Mayport boat ramp, just put a comment below. So it's pretty brutal out there. And then on Monday, Monday, I might make Monday, I doubt it. Wind. It's not nah, it's 15 to 20 on Monday, too. If you ran down there and just took a look at the boat ramp, I don't know. I could do that and call after I have breakfast because I'm everything would be ready to go. Yeah. Um, I just don't know. I mean, it looks worse than yesterday. Like 20, 20 to 25. The max wind gust forecast today, 30. You can take, you know, I'm, I'm up for anything I can get when it's 
brutal out there, you know. All right, well, go ahead, eat your eat your breakfast. Okay. Uh, take a ride down there. I mean, if it looks like it's gonna pour rain and brutal, I mean, you you make the decision. Yeah, take your time. I mean, it, the sun needs to come up to get a real true evaluation here. Yeah. Just... I'll call you from the boat, man. All right. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye bye. Well, that's part of the Traveler Bob morning conversation. I want him to make the decision because, but you know, it's always worse when it's dark. So by the time he eats his little continental breakfast at the Holiday Inn Express, heads on down to the boat ramp when it's light, we'll we'll know more. Traveler Bob just called me from the boat ramp. He doesn't care. He's known as a hardcore angler. We're going. Drop up your boot laces. It's go time. All right, here we go. Day two. Traveler Bob. shrimp boat with a boom around it not good not good ah just buff it a little bit it'll be okay <laughs> oh is it, is it raining now yeah all right second fish of the morning folks i had one we're just tearing up the big specs. Bob's so happy, right, Bob? I'm thrilled. <laughs> well, we've had two speckled trout today, and then this. If I wanted to catch a pinfish, if I ever wanted to catch a pinfish, really small, I could never do it. I mean, look at the size of that thing. There's my one ounce of fixed eggs. Look at that pinfish. Ha! Fourth fish in the boat. Like we haven't seen any of these lately. This is going to be this fish's lucky day because we're tired of them. We like catching them, but we don't need any more of these bastards. Old Mr. Yeller Mouth. And the anchor is dragging it. It is blowing. It is nasty. It is cold. I'm go. Look at that black marlin. That's a black marlin. All right. That's a black marlin, folks. All right, now it's raining. Bob's on one. What you on there, banana man? I don't know, Dave. <laughs> I've had a couple good bites and I've lost them. It's poor, it's good and raining. It's raining and cold. Oh, hey, do we know what those are? Is that one of them darn yellow mouthers that we had 30 of yesterday? Yep. Oh, is this weather? <laughs> This is going to be the suckiest day I ever did. <laughs> hey, I can get them too. I can catch them too. <laughs> I can get them too. You bent that baby right over. Probably not a damn yellow mouth trout. No, it's a sheep's head, finally. <laughs> Finally! All we kept doing was bitching that we didn't catch anything besides catfish, yellow mouth trout, I caught a whiting, and a little baby pinner. Now I caught a bigger pinner. There we go! Finally! How could you not catch a seven stripe of jetty snapper? Well, we're back at the dock and we, we made it! 30 degrees, rain, uh... Let's see, 25 knot winds and hardly any fish catching today. And we did a whole world tour of the river. So uh, that was the last two days. 
in what 19th and 20th today's the 20th of December yesterday was much better I have to say much better much better much better we had like 30 yellow mouth and a couple specks and yeah well we caught a bunch of fish let's put it that way but for today we want to thank you for watching Dave's worst fishing video till next time.